let's tie this all together. So what do we care about base four math for? All right, so here's the thing. A student once asked me, in the number 105, is it important that students understand that zero represents zero groups of 10? In other words, if I'm writing the expanded notation, couldn't I just write one times 100 plus five times one? Mathematically, it's correct, right? 100 plus five still gives me 105. By the way, I'm operating in base 10 right now when I'm thinking about this. Here's what I want you to think about though. When we go into other bases, suddenly this gets a little trickier, right? So when I'm doing a picture and I have 16, if I have 16 and one more, so I have a group of 16 here and then I have one unit, suddenly that zero really throws you for a loop, right? Because some people might think, well, is this one, two, base four? And to figure that out, we really need to take into account what the zero actually represents. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So if I think about this, and again, I'm looking at my base four chart here, I see that I have one group of 16, I have zero groups of four, and I have one unit. So I know that that's not actually one, two, base four, it's actually one, zero, one, base four. Now thinking about expanded notation in base four versus base 10, what would that look like? Again, I would have one group of 16 plus zero groups of four plus one group of one. You can see now how important this zero becomes when I get you out of your comfort zone and you're operating in base four. So the point of base four math is that you will have a little empathy and a little sympathy for your students who are struggling to understand what does this zero represent, right? It's pretty easy for us to understand mathematically what it is because of where we are at in our journey of learning mathematics. But when I put you in base four, suddenly it becomes a lot trickier. So that's one thing that we really want you to take away from this. The other thing that we want you to take away is really this idea of expanded notation and the role it plays, but in other base math as well, right? Because if you can do this chart with base four, you can do it with base six, you can do it with base seven, um, any base really, right? So I would highly recommend as a strategy to draw your chart and your little placeholders here with what they represent. And then I would also recommend that whenever you're doing base math that you do your expanded notation.